Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week I am going to be tackling book lists and these aren't going to be book lists that I've created but actually ones that you have created. And what's even better is that they're going to be book lists on things that you are going to read during the summer because most of the time we have more time during the summer to read and this way you can read whatever you want to and create a book list for it be it genre-fied, fiction, non-fiction, what you want to read versus uh, what you would like to read to recommend to students or they could be both. Um, so it could be a whole bunch of different types of lists. They could be TBR lists, which means to be read, or DNF lists, which means did not finish, but you want to finish them. So however you want to do the list, you can. So not only am I going to uh, show you how to make, or I'm not going to show you how to make a book list. You're going to make your book list, but I'm going to judge it up a little bit because what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do some e easy sketch noting to create your book list with so that it looks kind of cool and you can absolutely share them with anybody. So I'm going to be doing them digitally, but you can do them with paper too. So the first thing you're going to need if you want to do it with paper, which I personally like better actually, is you're going to need a notebook. So I got this notebook right here at Amazon and what it is, it's a dot grid. So inside they have dotted paper. Let me see if I can, there you go. They have dotted paper so that everything can be kept in line and kept straight and very easy to use. Another thing you're going to be needing besides a pencil and an eraser is you're going to be needing pens and not just any pen, but these little babies right here. These, if you're an elementary uh, teacher or librarian, you know what these are. These are the big flares. If you're at high school, you may not be as familiar with them or they may be becoming more popular, um, but definitely get yourself a set of big flares. They come in all sorts of different colors. You don't have to get them on Amazon. You can get them anywhere. And so you're gonna need some of these. And if you're going to be doing it digitally using your iPad, which is what I'm going to be showing you in this demonstration, because it's just easier to record, is that you're going to be uh, using an app. And the app I'm going to be using is Adobe Draw. And penultimate, actually it's going to be penultimate because that's, that's I like just, I just like it better. Another thing that I have noticed is that when I use my iPad for sketch noting, this finger just is not going to do the trick when it comes to sketch noting. I needed something a little bit slimmer. So I went for the thing that had the little bulb thing at the top and it still wasn't doing me any favors. So I went online to Amazon once again and I found this little baby. It's called the Hio pen and it has a really cool tip to it. It's very, it, it looks exactly like a pen and it draws like a dream. It's not as good as the iPad Pro 2, of course, but hey, having a pen to work with your iPad is awesome. So I will be using this and my iPad for demonstrations and just to give you some themes on some things that you can use perhaps to uh, create your book list with. So. We're going to get started and I want you to know I'm going to put the links to everything that I talked about on Amazon in the description below as well as the app that I'm using and any other information that happens to pop up. So let's get started. So I'm going to find my penultimate app and then I'm going to open it, hit the plus button and create a new notebook. This one is going to be book list, book list sketchbook themes. Then once I open it, I can hit the plus sign, open up a page, and it gives you all sorts of different options for pages, all sorts. But I'm going to stick with the regular dots at the very top. So what we're going to do is something super easy. If you can draw lines and rectangles, then this is going to be the perfect theme for you. So I'm drawing a line all the way across. To get that magnifying glass, I just take two fingers and squeeze them open, and it becomes a magnifying glass. I am going to get a different colored ink, and this is going to be a .2 pen. The line was a .5 pen. And I'm just going to draw a bunch of long rectangles of differing sizes. Then I realized I ran out of room. So I used my eraser and went in and erased the last rectangle. Coming back, I did a rectangle that's kind of leaning on its side, and now you should be able to see them as books. But to make them truly look like books, just add some lines so that they look like those old books or those old reader's digests that I used to read when I was a kid. 
And there you have it. Voila! You have a bookshelf that you just created. You can squeeze two fingers together to get rid of the magnifying glass or again squeeze them open to bring the magnifying glass back up. And you can write whatever you would like to underneath it. This time I'm going to write books to read and I wrote them anywhere on the screen because I wanted to show you the cutting tool. So what you do is you click on it and then you can actually reposition anything that you um, cut around to where you would like to get it. So that makes it super easy. So once that's all done, you can start numbering the traditional way, one, two, three, and four, and put your book titles. But, and this is what you would do with pen and paper, but if you're doing it digitally, you can also hold down on the screen itself and it will open up and ask if you want to use photos. So you can actually take book covers that you have on your photos and shrink them and the dots again make it really easy to line everything up and actually make a grid of the books that you are going to be reading. Hit the bottom of the screen, hit the plus, and now we're on page two. I'm just drawing a regular rectangle. It doesn't have to be fancy. I'm repositioning it with the cutter tool, changing ink, and inside I'm going to write book list. You can write whatever you want to, whatever the theme of that particular book list is, if it's it by genre, however you want to do it. Then once it's done, you can now just start writing in all the different types of titles and books that you've read or you're wanting to read or whatever it is that that book list is about. Then go back in and if you're using pen and paper, you just erase the, the pencil mark with your eraser. And in this case, it's of course digital. And now what you have is you have an invisible rectangle in the middle of the page, which is super cool. You don't always have to write, like I said, with book list. You can write whatever you want to in the middle of it. Books I love. And then you can write about them since you were a kid. Anything. Anything can work. So, again, if you do not want to make a list and you're doing this digitally, press down on the screen itself. It'll pop up camera or photos. And then you can go ahead and make a grid around your invisible rectangle, which I think is pretty cool, too. By the way, anything you create in Penultimate can be saved and shared. Bottom of the screen, click on it, then hit plus, and now we're on to our third theme. This involves circles and lines. I will tell you, as you can see, that I am not a very good circle person at all. I'm actually better at circles on paper than I am digitally. So I made four circles connected by lines at the top, and four circles connected by lines at the bottom. Then I'm going to go in and clean them up because they really need to be cleaned. And inside each one I'm changing the color and I'm writing the word book list. Again, write whatever you would like to on it. Faves 2019. Faves 2018 even. It doesn't matter, but it just, it makes the, the page look so much fancier if you put something cute like that. Now, if you're not a circle girl like I am, you can always go back and change them, and this is exactly what I did here. And I changed them into rectangles or squares because it's much easier for me to draw a straight line. I cannot even cut a straight line, but those dots on that page super duper help a lot. And so now you have a look at both, what both would look like, circle or square. Hit the bottom of the page and plus, and we're on our fourth theme. This involves rectangles and triangles and little squiggly lines. Meet those in the middle, and now you have a banner. If I were you, I would go ahead and color in those little triangles below the banner so that it gives it a little bit more of a 3D look. And you can put this banner at the top of your theme page. You can put it at the bottom of it, and even in the middle, and put whatever you want to on the inside. This is a font that I really like a lot, and it's super easy to do. Just make the straight lines on the alphabet into rectangles, fill them in, and put three dots. 
And so right now, if you're doing this, then you are sketch noting. Yay! And it's super easy. Now, if you're more linear and you want it straighter, all you have to do is the same thing, except you're going to draw lines straight out and meet in the middle. And now you have a more linear banner. And then you have the curved banner. Three different ones you could choose from. Hit the bottom, hit the plus. And now we are going to go into our last thing. This one you can be a little bit messy on because it, it lends itself to be messy. So I just drew three rough rectangles. They don't even have to be the same size. I put in a darker line in between each one. And then I pinched open my fingers to put little dots on each one of these. Do you guys see what this is going to be? Close in the top, add some lines to it. Change the color, put some grass, and now you have a post with different signs on it. And then you can write whatever you want to in it with whatever font. Just even making it simple is sometimes the best. So I wrote, read these now. Again, the sky's the limit for what you would like to put. These are the five different themes that I actually put onto paper using the bullet journal that I had with the grid marks. And you can see the differences between paper and digital, but either way is great. I liked them both. So I really hope you learned something today, and thanks for watching.